another episode on the Walk with Mel people. I'm your host, Mel. You'll you show me your brand. I'm with the Niva brand, with the Niva show me our first graffiti artist on the show. It's such an honor to feed once in the building. Welcome to the show. And I want you to give us a bit of an introduction of who you are and where you're from. Um, to feed once, mm-hmm. I'm originally from Woodstock most of my years, mm-hmm. um, but I've moved around Cape Town, mm-hmm. painted around Cape Town. So Stunning. I can't give an area to it. But quite it's but mostly time. Woodstock, you know what I mean? That's where I grew up most of my years. Mm-hmm. And yeah, graffiti was the only thing I knew. Amazing. Basically. And then your name, I said it earlier, it's a very interesting name, Defeat Once. Um, how did you get that name? Or what does um, it mean? Basically, I was a teen at school and mm-hmm. it was like a defeat the system thing. Originally, wow. it's like that mindset of like, sure. you know, the system, the system, the system, mm-hmm. which eventually became Defeat Once as I matured because. A lot of graffiti artists in Cape Town, um, they are one, so it's a Mac one, or Falco yeah. one, or this one, or that one. So I chose once because you defeat once to come to something. So. so I didn't want to sound like everybody else, so that's why that's I chose once. Brilliant. You know? And it also comes from once upon a time, so we tell stories mm. on walls, so it's that concept. Yeah. Mad. How did this art form find you? At high school, uh, just being a mischievous teen, I guess mm-hmm. we were tagging on people's walls mm. and then, yeah, um, Black Noise actually came to our school Okay. showed, showed, um, showed some hip hop and that's mm-hmm. where I found graffiti, I was like, whoa, this is, this is the next level. Amazing. I started as a dancer, so yeah, graffiti found me a bit later. Yeah. Dope, so you started breaking first before, before you went into graffiti? 100%. Gefalik, man. 100%. And give us a bit of an explanation, I mean, for people that don't know what it is, I mean, I'm one of the people, like, weet wat graffiti is, maar hy, history, yeah. you know, what is graffiti? Well, for me, graffiti is telling stories on walls, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like being from areas where people struggle, it's good to have messages that help and sure. pictures that inspire those people to go ahead and do what they need to do, you know? Mm. There is a way out, there is other ways to get sure. inspired, you know what I mean? Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, literally it's just also telling the kids, you know? It's also spreading the message of hip-hop, you know? That's the sure. basis of everything. You know? No, that's for me, I can't say for every other dancer or yes. artist, but that's my basis. Um, yeah, man, and I've been doing it ever since. I never stopped Amazing. painting. Amazing. And tell me, is there a difference with street art and graffiti? Is there a difference um, with the difference? Basically, street art was the gallery trying to take the form into a gallery and call it something else because uh. they couldn't call it street, like they couldn't call it graffiti because it's train art. So it's taking it away from vandalism in a way. Okay. The actual culture is vandalism. People want to do protest. That's where we came from. The protest. Sure. You know what I mean? so it's like 80s, 70s, the protest in the States, the protest in the SA. Yeah. So it was a protest. So it's seen as and a negative it, thing. Then it was, yeah. And obviously protesting people were illegally painting. So it was actually a legal art form before it was, you know, a pretty art form. I get so that's more street art, the pretty side of it. Okay. And you're safe and you're painting nicely and everything's comfortable. Exceed. As in the wood, you're going to watch your back and you're gonna yeah. <laughs> say what's up to your homie and be sure that you're cool, you know. So I get a difference. it. You're amazing. And tell me, what did you start with when it I, comes to the, did you draw first? Did you just go straight? I was drawing for like two years straight. Eh? I didn't really paint much. I just drew and wasted a lot of paint um, tagging my name, you know, where everybody starts. And yeah, eventually you got to grow up and get past that, you know. Mm-hmm. You know? For everyone is different, but for myself, I need to do mature out of that kiddie stage of playing yeah. around, and it becomes a business and it's serious, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically. It. And what would you say is the people that inspired you when you were younger? Obviously, when it comes to your art. Black Noise, it was Battle of the Year events. Mm. You know, it was Mac One. He lived in my neighborhood for a short time, so I just took all the opportunities I could to see graffiti. I was at a lot of gigs, and I used to shop at people's walls and ask. Wow. And, you know what I mean? Amazing. Yeah, that is kind of the journey. Amazing. And tell me, what would you say is the highlight, some highlights in your journey so far of places that you've um, um, done your yeah, work? Yeah, doing a bit of stuff in Joburg, you know, collabing mm. with Joburg artists, some guys from around Africa. There was a bit of a festival I did, like, it was a while back, you know. That was mm-hmm. when it was still busy, you know, with a lot of festivals up in Joburg. Sure. You know, I haven't been doing many things up in Joburg in a mm-hmm. while. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there's also been, I went abroad for a short time, Amazing. like two weeks. Went to Hong Kong, did some painting, um, did a bit of uh, lecture at the university. At the university. Um, Yo, that's mad. Yeah, that was kind of the journey, and I did a piece with the school where the students helped me. And that was basically my mission. Yeah. It was Beautiful. cool. It's cool. Beautiful. Cool Beautiful. Traveling. What would you say? What is the vision for you as an artist? Like, what would you want? For me as an artist, I want the next kid to pick up the can and paint mm. beautiful stuff. You know. The mission for me is like, if I'm an old artist and I didn't get one other person to paint this. Like, 
Uh, which is at zero still, you know, it's like I get money it. status is not what cuts it through me. It's like I prefer the people, you know. Sure. I mean? so it's like I'm paying for the people. It's not for even if I'm painting forever, it's not for them. I get know? what you're saying. Bigger picture. It's more for the people. It's because more about that's graffiti for us and those messages in the woods. Like yo, that man said this. This man said that. You know, it's pictures. It's it, it, it's like subliminal even. Mm. People don't see it really. They see it, but they don't every day of their life. But it, it says something. You know what I mean? It gets them feeling a certain way, as opposed to like. I get it. Beautiful yeah. man. People, yeah. we are hanging out with defeat once. It's a walk with Mel after the break. He's gonna show me how to draw. Hey Kishi, what if the angels was down with us and not above? Imagine that. What if Biggie never went to LA? What if Park stayed in New York and never went to the place? What if we were living in a world where everything was okay? What if I never went to my castle, the beauty on my arrival? What if there was no social media, would you still wanna go viral? No oppression, bro, no ghetto cycle. What if me and Razak was like kicking freestyles at the back? Imagine I never wrote my first rap. Would I still wanna put Grassy Park on the map? Imagine that. What if? Imagine that. What if? Imagine that. Sometimes and I just lamb and like just strip it away. Imagine it was real. What if Shaitan obeyed the rules? What if I wasn't shooting dice in school? What if I was on the strat dropping men for the jewels? Taking your shoes, what if there was no black or brown? What if I could foresee that they they lower me in the ground? What if I could see the ones that are not around? What if life was only energy and vibration? What if I never learned from the pavement? What if there was no segregation? What if Nelson Mandela wasn't set free? What if you could mang for that ANC and smoke your bud? What if it was peace and unity? What if it was one love? Yeah. What if the angels was down with us and not above? Imagine that. What if? Imagine that. What if? Imagine that. What if? What? What if? Imagine that. In the morning when I wake up, now I say, you know you I say, Alhamdulillah, it's a divine man. I'm out and I'm waiting to shoot. Just so that was, I, I give gratitude to Allah for waking me up in this uh, amazing way. For me, graffiti is telling stories on walls, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like being from areas where people struggle, it's good to have messages that help and sure. pictures that inspire those people to go ahead and do what they need to do, you know? Mm. There is a way out, there is other ways to get sure. inspired, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. Yeah, literally it's just also telling the kids, you know? It's also spreading the message of hip hop, you know? That's the basis of everything. You know? back people we're hanging out with defeat once in the building graffiti artist and it's such an honor to have you on the show and i mean you've taught me of ek wil nie lig nie ek wil nog sê ek het gekritiek en julle sal nou die artwork sien opkom dope in a few minutes you just came up with this really cool um cool artwork that you did for work with mel shout out to you um i want to ask you how did you practice back in the day because i mean with dance and oefen moes moves do you just continue drawing do you draw different things how do you practice it's literally like any art form, you have to practice whatever it is that makes you good, you know what I mean? Uh, like if I can only draw a face, I can only draw a face, there's nothing else I can do. Uh, Someone says draw a house, it's like okay, never mind, Just give me three days, I need to go and formulate something, as opposed to I've done everything. It's like it's, it's yeah. expressing yourself, man. It's like uh, how do you so not express yourself? It's like oh, I'm stuck, I can't express myself. No, it's like... It makes it feel. fully. Uh, Sometimes I don't just... It's not a physical thing, I paint what I see or I paint what I feel there, you know what I mean? It's like why does nice. this place need as opposed to... What cool? Can I put my name up here? Sorry, freedom. Many artists do like names. It gets 
monotonous to put up your name everywhere because like yeah cool you want your name you know it's not i don't think it's fame anymore you know mm. a lot of people getting the email saying no we're doing this because we want a name to be famous i'm like past the fame or it is like we're just doing this so someone else can do it after me and mix after that is so my dope yeah it's like it's a spirit man so it's just like it never dies it's yeah, so. it never dies because the next brother does and the next brother then gaan het aan I was gonna. We spoke about it off air now, about the competitions. Obviously, we spoke about you had a festival and you and you and you gave a valid point about not having, not competing when it comes. Because I was thinking, how do you even like judge a graffiti competition? But in general, mm-hmm. nothing should be a competition. You know, once mm. it becomes a competition, there's beef, there's That's all these things. There's people have issues as opposed to making more links and more networks and putting Connecting. together and collabing on things. Now we can't because we have an issue with the guy who won. As well. make, and it takes make. away the freedom as well of, it takes a lot of, of that of away the art. Yeah. I want to speak about earlier before the break we spoke about obviously graffiti, street art and all those things but is there hidden messages in graffiti? There is, there is hidden messages sometimes it all depends also man, you know what the artist is trying to say but I think a lot of people have something to say in the messages it just depends if you know but you know. Would, is there a certain way that you have to read it or, or vision it all it's, it's tricky you know it's like this is I don't know, I'd call it two forms of graffiti. There's murals where people do pictures and mm. tell stories with pictures and then there's people who tell stories with words, which is the sure. graffiti artist who just puts his name up or puts pictures in his names or characters. I get it. I get so it. It's kind of like graffiti is linked to protesting more than what street art is connected to, the gallery and all these pretty things, you know. Amazing. Like exhibitions and all. Amazing. And tell me, let's speak about the challenges, because I think with anything in life, you know, challenges is real. What challenges have you faced or the do you face in your... Challenges all the usual. I think everybody faces the challenges of just keep going, you know what I mean? Don't stop. Keep doing the good stuff, you know yeah. what I mean? Keep putting the energy into it. Put your mind there. Sure. Keep everything there, as opposed to there's lots of negative things every day in our True. lives. True. We can focus on, but yeah, we focus on helping the next, I don't know. Focus yeah. on doing, doing greater things. Mm-hmm. We still need to inspire, although it's COVID and all that. We still need to be those people doing it. Yeah, and, and tell me, how do you, I mean, you're speaking about that now, how do you um, stay motivated to, con- mm-hmm. like, I mean, you've been doing it for a while now, but how do you stay motivated to do this every day, even on the off days? Ah, for me, um, there's a thing I say to a lot of friends, it's just like second nature. You're doing it that much, it becomes sure. second nature. It's like I love this way every day. It's like, it's not mm-hmm. a new thing. It's like, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. It's normal. It's, it's just another day. It's like, you know, yeah, nothing amazing. under the sun. You're just doing your thing. Amazing. And you tell know? me, how do you survive as an artist? Um, yeah, there's many different ways. Eh? Sometimes it's commissions, sometimes it's yeah. uh, big companies, sometimes small companies, sometimes it's clothing, sometimes wow. it's denims, sometimes yes. it's peak caps, it's cans, it's canvas. Mm. Art is like an endless subject, it's anything that you can see visually, I think. True, true. And then you obviously teach kids as well. Why do you think it's important for us to continue having art in school even? And why do you want the kids to take away from you? I think that, yeah, it's important to just have them inspired, you know, it's like mm-hmm. this new generation, man, like, you know, academia is great and like having an A plus and being yeah, a yeah, lawyer yeah. is cool, but that's not the future, that's not mm-hmm. where see, humans are you. now, everybody's not into academia, it's not the coolest thing, there's a lot of other art forms, there's True. a lot of things people are doing nowadays that wasn't a job, graffiti wasn't a job, no? 20 years ago, they're like, graffiti, <laughs> you know, so uh. yeah, you know, it's just change comes slowly, you know, so like, People will eventually get there where they see, okay, this is normal. It's possible. You know? it's like the movements are abroad, it's big, it's everywhere. You see people doing the things, you know what amazing, I mean? Amazing, amazing. For us, it's all new. So we like the baby crawling, getting into that form, you know? Amazing. So, yeah. And then if these youngsters watching, what advice would you give them? For me, just, yeah, just keep doing. You know, you can do anything you want to do. Mm. There's no limitation to anything you think of, whether it's an idea, whether it's a business, whether mm. it's dancing, whether it's painting. Sure. Do it because that's the only time you do it is when you do it. Exactly. You know, so, buy yeah, it. You know, it's just. I think that's the only. That's the only point. I like Nike is with the actual slogan yeah. that says just do it. Don't they don't say what. They just say do it. You know, buy it. Simple. That's how simple it is, I guess, you know. Social media, where can people catch you? They want to book you? They um, wanna... I'm at Defeat Once. It's D-F-E-A-T-W-U-N-C-E on Instagram. And mm. then I'm just Defeat Once on Facebook as well. 
Amazing, man. Thank you so much for educating us, for sharing your journey, Ooh. and we wish you all the best, man. And um, yeah, thank you for keeping this art form alive as well. 100%. Thank you very much, Mel, for having me on the show. Amazing. Um, yeah, this is amazing. Good experience. Like um, a day. Yeah, hopefully we inspire. For Sia Thank you Thanks so again. much, people. Thank you Ooh. so much for tuning in, people. The show will be repeating next week, Wednesday, 11 to a.m. Make sure you follow this guy and support him. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Nicotine said, fang the midi like Living life as an adolescent The incession I thought I had it all, I was slipping Popping, drag me tripping I pray we never go back Grateful for every step So the team stay solid We sang I got all the wheels for love Even even me that we got to suffer in the bonnet Keep a date more than 92 I'ma ride for you bro No man above the crew Just reminiscing on the we used to do Before getting noticed With sick of robbers in the street It's clum jokers It told me if you stay in the booth Keep focus They to fall about your name Make them voice about your game Only young star on the scene that bite a lane Alhamdulillah look how far we done came Now I'm known to be caps That's most deadliest strain I make your boys pain sit fast Like a boss stain Gorilla hustle on that food chain The real remain is that ham campaign Nicotine said from the midi light When he 14 up tempers on the scene With a bank full of buffaloes Two clips and honeys bro My pools are cold stand fast What is die van van my nose Used to share meals with drug addicts Having personal conversation with killers With bad habits This and hookies Martin in by smokies You throw up your whole post This guy's as a morphy Got in this bro is a totsy What you know about glass and draad They put the prat The things I saw Pulled me from the core While there's no camera I frag it in raw Back with pharmacy After a while I didn't have to match out to my door In the time where I was lost Rap stuck by my side F***ing 95 Stand behind this hip hop Shit bro that's how I'm gon' survive See for my tribe Put away the pride Things change when my dope died Cyber things stay time Same thing with um, with music It's a kind of deal but yeah. my question is not that I'm questioning our creator. I was gifted with it. I was I gifted with this, maybe.